Well, after the success of the Asterix figures I painted, so uh, I got my uh, wife to print off a Tintin, Hergé's Adventures of Tintin. Um, so it's really nice, crisp uh, print again, hollow. Uh, and this is how it comes out. There's no ridges, there's no nothing on the resin printers. It's really nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is undercoat him. Uh, you'll need a couple of fillers. So to make him hollow, you've got to have drain holes for getting rid of the resin. So I'm going to fill the holes, undercoat him. I might stick him on a base to paint him so that I'm not handling him too much. Um, probably just a round base. So I'll do that. We'll come back and we'll start painting. Okay, so I've undercoated the figure, stuck him to a base. So the first thing we're going to do is paint the flesh tones. And for that I'm going to use my normal Citadel in focus in. Citadel Cajun flesh tones and that's lightened with a, a small amount of Vallejo light flesh. And my nice brush there it is. on the show. Okay so you'll need a couple of coats on that so I'll do that and then we can come back. Okay so painted his flesh so what we're going to do now is paint his hair and add some detailing. So he's a bit of a, a red head. Very bright orange hair. So I'm going to mix some red and some yellow, <coughs> oh pardon me, I'm just going to mix some uh, Mephiston red and Flash Gits yellow, which is a lovely bright yellow. Probably need another coat of the orange because the pigment isn't particularly great on it. And then he's just got black eyes, like a doll's eyes. A bit like a shark. So let's get some black. It hasn't got a lot of, a lot of uh, face to focus on. Okay, and he's got quite heavy duty eyebrows. That's good. And I'm also going to use, even though he's a, sort of a, a line drawing character, I'm going to use a bit of flesh wash. Just to like shade in his ears and that. So I'm going to do his socks next, and there uh, he wears white socks. Oh, he wears white and black socks, depending on. That. I'm going to give him white socks. White probably needs a couple of coats because it's quite poor pigmentation and he's also got white shirt collar sticking out. Okay, I'll let that dry and come back. Okay, so I've coated the white, I'm going to give it another coat. Just on the collars. There we go. And then I'm going to paint his trousers, and he has brown trousers, probably because of all the scary adventures he goes on. So I'm going to use Mon Fang, I think. So 
So I'm going to finish his trousers off. Then we can come back. Okay, so I've painted his trousers. I also painted his boots in Why Not Tide, which is slightly darker brown. Um, so now I'm going to paint his shirt, or his jumper thing, and that's a light blue. So I'm going to use for that a light tock. A late, I don't know how you pronounce it. Light blue. Okay, so I'm going to finish that. I'll probably need a couple of coats because blue is again not a great pigmentation paint. Okay, so paint his jumper, so I'm now going to paint his raincoat and I'm going to use Zandri Dust. As you can see, it's quite a nice raincoat colour, so I'm going to paint all the rest of that. Then we'll come back and add some shade in and uh, try and do the base. Okay, so he's all the colours blocked out, so what I'm going to do now is use the uh, flesh shade and just go over some of the, the lines just to bring them out a bit. You can see, so I'm going to do all that, put some grass on the base, and then we'll come back and we'll see it finished. Okay, so here he is finished. It's a really nice uh, figure. It printed really well, and it was a nice, easy one to paint. There's not a lot of detail on it for realism, but you can pick it out nicely, and it looks like Tintin. Um, what I might actually do is I notice he's got some rosy cheeks, so I might add some rosy cheeks onto it, but other than that, nice, quick and easy paint job, put a nice base on it, and it's a nice figure to go with Asterix and Obelix that I did last time. So thanks for watching, if you want to see more of, uh, of these cartoon style figures, let me know and I'll see if I can find 3D prints to print out, and I'll see you again next time. Please like and subscribe if you like the channel, and thanks for watching. Thanks then, bye.